Oh yes, those are some spicy trailers indeed and definitely something worth celebrating. And we know the best way to celebrate is with a classic treat. See you in a bit. So, we've had classic fashion from Tendi, classic cars, thanks Chad, and we've seen classic hairstyles. And you, Michael? Classic. A classic range from Clover, timeless taste. Made with love by Clover. Ah, yes, it's that time we're doing the things in the kitchen and spices are not only for savory dishes, but for sweet treats too. Now, our Clover Classic Burfi Cupcakes delict, well, delicately show off why sugar and spice produce all things nice. Now, Chef Riaz Mir is here with, uh, well, he's firstly, if you haven't known, he's from the Taste of Kashmir and he's about to take us through some simple steps to how to get our bake on with this delicious sweet treat. How are you doing, brother? Good, how are you? I'm fantastic, man. It's good to have you in the kitchen. It's the first time we get to uh, dance here in the studio. Wow. So uh, what's happening, man? I see some uh, some ingredients. Obviously, you're always throwing some spices in. We'll get into that in a bit. But uh, what is this meal? What is uh, what is it exactly? The the clover classic uh, burfi cupcakes. Yeah. It's it's just a, they are very easy to make. But what takes an other level is just adding by. Our classic. Some, our classic. Of course, the Clover Classic that, custard. That's yeah. where the secret All right, is. well, I'm ready to take it up to another level, cool. of course. So what are we starting with? What are the ingredients on that are side? Are you going to help me with the icing? I got you, man. I've, the last time I used this thing, we had a lot of uh, material if you were in the kitchen. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to redeem myself here. Good. <laughs> you look like a new James Bond there. But I like that. Good. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Go for it. All right, man. So what am I mixing up here? Because I see some ingredients. I've got butter, uh, icing sugar. That's right. Uh, milk. That's right. And... That's salt. just a pinch of salt. Okay, just to Quick. balance it all out. That's it. All right, so I'm, I'm going to get to this while I make a bit of a noise here. What are you doing on your side? So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix the uh, button sugar. Okay. So just lighten the color. All right. And uh, take it from there. Okay, let's get to it. I'm going to make some noise. Mzanzi, first off, I'm going to start by getting the butter a little bit more, um, well, out of these blocks. Ooh, there we go. Not too bad. Not too bad so far. Keep going around. Easy, you easy. This, you got this, you got this, you got this. Is there a tip to like not making the splat all over the show? <laughs> Is this just a chef's secret over all the years of practicing? Look, in a kitchen, we have to do these things, but go for it. <laughs> Don't, nothing to be worried. <laughs> all right. And listen, man, I, I believe I was uh, listening to you earlier when you were cooking with uh, Zoe. Mm -hmm. Apparently, you said you started cooking at the age of nine. That is true. So that what is, is it? It's been true. like, what, tw 20 years of, of cooking, huh? Eh? Uh, more than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you must have done a lot. I'm sure you've never done something on the show before. Is this correct? The first time on uh, the show? This is my first time to come. And what do you think? So far, so good. So far, so good. It's not as nerve-wracking as everybody thinks. I know a lot of people sit here in the kitchen like they get so nervous because they want to make it perfect. Yeah. And then I tell them, don't worry, look what I'm doing. And clearly you can see there's nothing perfect about this, but we can Cooking still make is it all about good. fun. You have to have a fun. I like that. I like that. So I'm going to get going. It's my round two here. I've softened up the butter. I'm adding all the rest of the ingredients in here and uh, trying my best not to make the biggest mess ever. Okay, we're going, we can cook you around this stuff. Nice stuff. Yes, what sort of uh, consistency am I looking for here? Smooth, Keep lumpy. Just a, bit want? just a bit smoother. Just a bit smoother, all right. Of course, you didn't have one of these food here, so I'm just going to add my eggs now. All right. OK, I think I am about done. And the vanilla extractor. Nice. How are you doing on that side? Doing okay. <laughs> I'm doing okay. And uh, is this obviously going to be the batter that we finish up with and put it into the cupcake mix? Well, that is the cupcake mix, right? That is true. Okay. Yeah. And is there a thing about, like, I know in the show, I don't know if you've done it or not, but sometimes guys mix the wet ingredients first, dry ingredients, does not matter in this instant? Does it I think the meal that, at all? I think the baking has to be quite precise, but you have to basically follow the exact recipe. Yeah. I don't think you can just uh, skip with do the one thing first, the other thing first. And, yeah. uh, I think that's, baking is always like a bit of a science. I know you like that is, you, that you, is, you're great at cooking. I've seen some incredible meals that you've made, but it feels like you always, there's a little bit of like nervousness when it comes to baking, because <laughs> that, you know, you want the final product to rise and get that puffiness, and you're always questioning your steps along the way. But I'm seeing you kind of having a nice sort of a laxy approach here, which doesn't seem to affect the final result, right? Like you said, let's just have fun. As long as you have a fun in the kitchen when you are cooking, things always go right. I like that. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to let everybody else know. Would you know. pour me at 125 ml of 
half a so, cup of the so classic, classic clover custard. All right, is this going in there? That is true. That is going all to be right. here. Oh, my hands are so slippery. I almost dropped that. While I'm popping into this, guys, I want to talk to you about something special and why we're using this incredible ingredient. It's not just because it tastes so good, but also because it's a versatile option, of course. Am I popping it in there? That's right. Yeah, it's a versatile option. You can use it in your desserts. It's delicious on its own as well, but it's also the heavy ingredient in our cupcakes to give a creamy custard flavor to these beautiful cupcakes that we're making right now. And it's the perfect addition to almost add to anything. Like we said, use it on your own, throw it in for that sweet little creaminess as well. It kind of just is that cherry on the top. And it's a beautiful infusion, especially when you I mean, we're not using many spices for this one, right? But uh, spices are something that you would generally use in a lot of your treats, right? That is, that is. In in, in India, we use a lot of um, sweet spices, such as like a cinnamon, cardamom. Cinnamon, I know, because I see that on buns and, uh, and on uh, donuts a lot. They add some star anise and all of that. Okay, and all right. spice as well. So, okay. therefore, we're gonna add some more cardamom to it, cardamom okay. powder. So this is where you're getting that spicy stuff in. I that like it. Is Quite right. So we're gonna fold in into slowly. All right, that's starting to come together quite nicely, eh? Now, just fast forward into time. Obviously, once we're done with this mix, mm -hmm. placing it into the cupcakes. That's right? right. The cupcake tray that we have over here, or baking tray, or I suppose you could even make like a little mini loaf if you didn't have any of these shapes. But ideally, <laughs> keep it as a cupcake. How long we put it in the oven for? Um, about 20 to 25 minutes. 20, 25 minutes and... 180 degrees. 180 for safety. 180. And then the beautiful icing that I've made here, is that going on before that's, or after? That's gonna go afterwards. All right, so I've just made the beautiful icing as you saw, it was quite simple, quite easily. This goes on to the mix afterwards, once it's come out of the oven, 180 for safety at around 20 minutes. I'm telling you, this is a beautiful infusion of some of the good stuff. And of course, Riaz is showing us just exactly how to do it. If you wanna know how, and you forgot any of these steps, shame on you, Mzanzi, but don't worry, we got you covered because you can check out the recipe recap right now. And of course, get all the recipe inspiration from expressoshow.com. Nice stuff, man. Made with love by Clover.